I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling Hello everyone! So tonight, uh, we'll be discussing uh, one of the major difficult topics that um, we have with our succulent care uh the reason why i'm wearing this is because we will be discussing my not so favorite uh topic which is fungicides i am uh i will remove this first and then i will discuss with you so it's a lot clearer for me to speak to you okay hold on okay much better so tonight it's around 10 o'clock in the evening and I have to be a little quiet because my neighbors might wake up and get mad. <laughs> so tonight, uh, I'll be showing you how I uh, spray or use my fungicides. Um, actually, two-part series to. So I hope you get to um, wait and finish the video so that you can see the link for the part two of our topic for uh, my chem series, no? Ang aking topic about chemicals and how to use them uh, properly. Ayan. Kailangan talaga may sasabihin tayong properly sa dulo. Kasi, um, you know, as a newbie, ako, nung nagka-start ako, no, uh, hindi ko na, I didn't realize the magnitude of the dangers of using fungicides can be to my health and as well as to my environment. So upon uh, hearing and watching um, veterans no, and other farmers like Sir Dan, Sir Chong that are really, you know, talagang work nila no, at pinag-aralan nila tong part na to, um, mga scientist ika nga, uh, na-realize ko na, oh my goodness, I was mishandling a lot of my chemicals and I was actually putting myself at risk and my health at risk at the same time and it's it's a scary thing because it's not as if you'll just you know vomit or have a headache or something like that or get skin irritations which is like the very lightest um symptoms that you can get from or effects that you can get from using or mishandling um fungicides or chemicals um most of the fungicides can actually, uh, well, actually has carcinogens or um, yun yung mga um, chemicals that can give us cancer. So, scary, you know, diba? So, kaya actually, miss kasi TSCP, nag-stop na rin po kami mag-advise uh, mag ng 7 dithane bath after hearing um, this wonderful uh, talk no, from Jello Sanctuary. Uh, a couple of months ago, they were discussing pesticides and fungicides. Um, and I realized that uh, for for TSCP, no, it's just really more of a, um, you know, our, our um, what responsibility. There we go. It's our responsibility na to make sure that these chemicals are proper hand uh are proper uh are handled properly. I'm sorry, medyo inaantok na ako. Alas 10 na kasi mag 11 o'clock na. Um that these chemicals are properly handled. Um so hindi ko siya gustong i-recommend anymore or hindi na namin siya na kami ng mga admins, hindi na namin siya gustong i-recommend sa mga newbies kasi nga um if you cannot have the proper equipment just like what I showed you um before the before the video and um kung hindi natin kakayanin na maging regular na ganun ang protective equipment natin every time you use these chemicals i don't want to you know suggest this anymore na going regular uh habit ba when receiving new plants um but that doesn't mean that i will not be using any more chemicals or these fungicides um I tried going the organic route and it's just really time consuming and hindi niya nagagamot uh, yung talagang sobrang infected na. So, hirap makabawi yung halaman kapag infected na. Uh, so, 
I decided na talagang kailangan ng gamitan ng chemicals or ng, eto, ng mga chemical based, no? So, there are several types of fungicides in the market. Ano sila? I just wanna also thank Plant Culture PH for sending these over kasi I told her na um, I have, I, I wanted to discuss the topic about fungicides, uh, pesticides or insecticides no as well as vitamins and fertilizers and all that um all those uh um uh, topics so she was so very nice and she sent these over to me ko ano yung mga available niya na fungicides uh insecticides as well as the vitamins uh and other uh boosts na meron siya no so meron din na computers binigyan niya rin ako ng um, Osmocote, Peters, um, ano ba ba nang dyan? Um, yung Hormix, meron din siya dyan. Um, ooh, Siam Early Grow, I also have that from the PR kit that I had, no? So, anyways, going back to the topic of fungicides, ito yung mga currently available ngayon, um, na ginagamit natin sa community, na succulent and cactus community, no? So, Benamil is one of them. Um, ang active ingredient niya is, well, Benamil. Um, this one, as you can see, ang mga uh, na, 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 natatanggal niya no, or nag-cure niya na fungi is yung nose. Uh, marami dyan yung flapjacks ko nyan. Blast or sheet blight. Powdery mildew. Um, scab. Oh, so, si Benamilian. And then naman, ito si Fungitox. Ito, narinig ko na to several times. But I haven't, uh, I haven't really tried it. I tried it once. Um, this one, ang active ingredient nyo naman is thiophanate methyl. I will um, try to research kung ano yung mga nagagawa ng bawat active ingredient, ano? Um, because I'm not really familiar with this one yet. But if you can see, ang mga diseases na natatanggal niya rin or nakukure niya din is yung blast, black spot, anthracnose, powdery mildew, um, shot hole disease, fruit rot, scabs, uh, fruit spots. Uh, so, mapapansin mo maraming simila similarities no, sa, sa mga fungicides na typical fungus na nakocure niya. Si Cocide naman, ito yung isa sa mga pinaka widely used, especially sa mga farms. Kung mapapansin nyo po, when you, go to, when you buy your plants from Benguet, sometimes may blue stain siya. That is this one. It's called Cocide by DuPont. Ang um, kulay blue siya, actually ginagamit din to na parang ginagawa siyang paste. Tapos ito yung ginagamit na parang paste para to cover the wounds ng mga adenium kapag nagro-root uh, nagro nag training sila or root trimming sila. This one naman, ang kanyang active ingredient is copper hydroxide. Uh, this one, takot akong gamitin kasi naka-blue label po siya. Ayan, compared to the green labels. Uh, ano ba yung difference sila? Green label, I think, is um, ito yung parang pinaka-light niya. Uh, ito yung pinaka-parang uh, ika nga eh, sa toxicity level, ito yung pinaka lowest toxicity level compared to the blue one. The blue one, ang alam ko po dito, kailangan, ang nag, uh, ang na, kailangan professional sa talaga, ang nag, uh, what do you call that? Um, yung professional sa na dapat, yung talag farm na lang siya. Ayan. Hindi siya, hindi siya pang regular gardener lang na gagamit tayo ng co-side kasi it's highly toxic. Ayan. So, ang dami niya mga 
um, babala, nakakatakot. So, I don't think I'll be using this anytime soon. Maybe when I um, research more about the product. But as you can see, again, anthracnose, black pod, leaf rust, um, coffee berry disease, melanose, blight, early blight, fruit rot, um, ayan, bacterial blight, rust, um, sigatoka, bacterial fruit rot, finger rot, corn rot, leaf spot. So, um, ang maganda kasi kay DuPont, fungicide and bactericide siya. Well, most most of the, ano naman, most of the copper-based naman um, are talagang fungicide, bactericide na siya. Ayan. And then, there's also Daconil. This one. Um, I became aware of this one um, when I went to the US and I was visiting some farms there. Ah, uh, well, no, not farms, nurseries, succulent nurseries there um, in California. And then, sobrang widely used ang daconil sa kanila, but the liquid form. Um, they use it for uh, preventive, uh, preventive maintenance. So, I'm just not sure if it would have the if this one has the same effect of na pwede siyang ano na pwede siyang um oh it goes preventive um so i'll i'll have to research on that one but yun nga ang sa sa US ito yung ginagamit nila for preventive uh, pag alam nilang fungal season na fungal season na ayan spray spray na sila ng daconil kaya ko siya kaya familiar sa kanya and then the other one is Ridomil or Ridomil, Ridomil. This one is by Syngenta. Ang active ingredient niya is Metalaxyl and Mancoseb. I think they're almost the same uh, active ingredient with Dithane. Dithane has Mancoseb as well. Um, ano ba to? Systemic ba to? Wait lang, ha? Active ingredient. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, this one is a systemic fungicide. It says here. Ayan, systemic fungicide. There we go. Ito, since ano rin siya, systemic din siya, what it means is that there are two types kasi of fungicide. One is contact fungicide. And the other one is systemic. Contact fungicide like dithane, ito. What you can see here, actually, niripak ko siya. And apparently, mali pala siya. But kasi, malalaki yung packs niya. So, I had to, I had to repack it. But this one, I keep it in the dark para controlled naman siya, and then naka-seal siya. So, anyways, um, contact fungicide is really more of a coating for the for the plant, para ma-cure yung, uh, ma-cure and ma-prevent yung uh, mapatay yung mga fungal spores or fungus dun sa leaf. no. So, kung may infection sa leaf, uh, like this one, yung makita nyo yung mga black spots na yan. Wait, let's see ha. Tapit natin yung ilaw. Ayan. So, like this one. This one is a Rubidona that got infected. Ayan, bago, medyo bago pa to eh. Ayan, makita mo yung mga black spots na yan. There, there. Um, since wala naman siya sa stem, na-check ko na siya, wala siya sa stem, what I'm using for this one is Dithane. Okay? But, kapag nasa puntong nasa nasa stem na, or napansin nyo na nasa loob na yung fungal infection niya, meaning hindi na surface yung tinatamaan ng fungus, like this one, yung mga tanyo, yung stem niya, partially nag-blackened na siya, ayan. Um, for this one, I used naman folicor. Um, asa na ba siya? Wait lang ha, let me get it. Kasi tinabi ko na siya eh. Wait, wait. This one is my, ano, my dolly tray. 
um, para when I do gardening, all of my stuff, uh, it's here na. So, my first layer, nandiyan yung mga vitamin square rooting powder. Yan. Tapos sila Hormix, Siam Early Grow, um, Vitamin B1. Uh, what else? Uh, Starkle G is here. And dyan, yan. Seven. O, oh, saka na yan. Next topic siya. Second level ko, nandiyan yung iba pang um, stuff ko. And then, these are my other chems here. Mayroon pa ako mula tayo yung Simbush. Anyways, my follicle is here. Ayan. This one, medyo strong lang yung amoy niya. So, you really have to wear mask and um, other protective in, uh, protective gear. So, since I, we will be touching now the chems, I will have to put on my gloves. So, wait lang. <music>